Hi, I'm Ross, and we're going to show you how to make your own backyard stadium cricket scoreboard. For this project, you'll need some white paint, a brush, painter's tape, a cloth just in case you make a mess, sandpaper, a tape measure, some wood glue, a butt hinge, 50 mil is always best, a stencil kit to make sure you make the numbers right, chalk, some timber, our drill, and of course the chalkboard. Whenever you're working with paint, you should always use a drop sheet to cover your surface. Using the blackboard that we got from Bunnings, it's 1200 by 900, and painter's tape, we're going to mark out four lines for the scoreboard and the edge. So the first section we're going to mark out is this is for our heading. So once you've got your heading done, you now you've got your four more, which are 24 centimetres apart for the runs, wickets, overs, and the most important one, the target. And each of our painted lines are going to be two centimetres thick. And now that we've got our lines marked out, it's time to get a light sand. There's something for the paint to stick to. Just make sure you give it a bit of a dust off before you start painting, just to remove any loose dirt. Let's just squirt a bit of paint onto the plastic cup. And of course, make sure you've got a cloth handy. If you do go outside the lines, you can clean it up. And as we know with painting, one coat's never enough. And it's a really good idea to peel the tape off before the paint sets, that way you don't get any chips. Now that our paint's dry, we're flipping the board over and we're going to put the stand on the back. And using some wood glue, glue a piece of timber to the top of the board. And now we're going to attach the timber to the stand. And that should be about the size of the length of the board. We're going to mark out the middle point of the board. So start by attaching butt hinge to the top of your timber. And now we're ready to stand our board up. Now it's time to make our scoreboard really look like a scoreboard, so we're going to put some chalk there. We've already laid out our title on the board, and now we're going to colour it in and just finish it all off. Once we've done that, it's time to make sure we've got our runs, our wickets, our overs, and especially our target on there. There you have it. Scoreboard complete, game ready to roll, and you won't forget the score at tea break.